So this might sound a little bit bizarre. Uh, <laughs> so uh, a few days ago, um, I took a nap. And during the nap, I woke up and I tried to remember what was happening during the nap. And uh, I had a dream, actually, where I heard you speaking, saying there certain things that I should do. The things that were being said didn't sound like things that I could come up with on my own. I didn't think it was something that I imagined. So I told my mom about this dream. She said, yeah, that's, that's kind of nutty. <laughs> you know, this was like two days ago, two or three days ago. So um, on Thursday, I'm getting to the end of work, a work that I do not want to be at, and decided to Google the law of attraction. And I live like an hour away from here. So I pop up on your website and I see all the different places that you speak and this and that. And I say, wow, two days, June 6th. Where is she going to speak? Oh, well, Boston, Mass. Well, there's that. So now I find myself here with a whole series of questions, so I'm trying to wheedle it down maybe to one or two. Well, most everything's been answered already for you, but this is the thing that we most want you to hear. That's true. This is the thing that we most want you to hear. When you are dreaming, when you are asleep, first of all, when you are asleep, your momentum is subsided, and so your resistance is so much less. Mm -hmm. So what you think and what you receive in your full wake state is always a match. And it's the same in your dream state. In other words, what your vibration is and what you realize from the dream is always a vibrational match. You get what you think about, whether you are asleep or whether you're awake. It's always a vibrational match. So in your dream state, you are much less resistant. So it's easier for you to realize things. In other words, the vibration of your source is profoundly what it is. In your dream state, it's easier for you to realize it because while you're slumbering, you have less resistance. So that's what happened. We are projecting to you as we always do. You're asleep, you're less resistant. And so you received it in your dream state. Now, we like to say to all of you that if you are dreaming a dream and it feels good, it means to you that you are on the verge of manifestations that will be pleasing to you. If you're dreaming things that don't feel so good, then you're on the verge of manifesting things that are not pleasing to you. So the benefit of having a dream about something that is wanted is that it is an indication that you are in the vibrational vicinity of it. And the fact that we found you reluctant one that you were in a sea of faces is an indication that that vibration was vivid enough that you realized it in dream state and now it is vivid enough that you realized it in full manifestation form which is really what we've been talking about all day here today isn't it that once you get in the vicinity of it more and 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 more of it is going to come to you right so i remember actually i think it was something that i read of you talking about disease and how it's internally controlled and I had a question because my dad was actually telling me the other day about a family that's close to us from where I'm from. And unfortunately, their daughter has a brain tumor and has had so for quite some time. I wanted to know your thoughts about how your thoughts of appreciation and this and that, how that can internally control physical ailment. I know you talked about your knee or rather Esther's knee and how she focuses on it and it creates more of it. But something as extreme and distant as like a tumor. Well, once something manifests, it's an interesting thing because you've got these vibrations going on that are your point of attraction. And if you're aware of it when it's in its vibrational state, it's much easier to change the vibration of something. It's much easier to change your mood than it is a physical condition. But once there is a physical condition, often doesn't need to be, but often the physical condition then controls your mood. And so, the way to get around that is to not get yourself in that momentous place to mm -hmm. begin with. But if you are, then to accept that it's an energy thing, it's an emotional thing, it's a vibrational thing, not a conditional thing. And if you understand that, then any condition can be resolved. Mm. It's also important to understand that your intentions, you cannot know this for anyone else because you don't know what the path of least resistance is for anyone else. Sometimes the path of least resistance is re-emerging in a non-physical. Sometimes the path of least resistance is to resolve a vibration and have a different manifestation. But you cannot know that for anyone other than yourself.
Right. Yeah. It's okay if I ask one more? Yeah. Recently, or rather, things have been building up in my family for quite some time now, some family troubles. Momentum? Yes, quite a bit. And it has resulted in my little sister having some alcoholism, some issues with that. So last, I think it was Monday, earlier this week, we met with an intervention specialist uh -huh. to plan whether or not we want to have an intervention uh -huh. for my little sister. So, long story short, the conversation kind of blew up into a... Because family. everyone needs her to be different so that they can feel better. To some everyone extent, yeah. needs her to be different so that they can feel better. And you say to yourself, but it's for her benefit, but it's so that you will feel better, you mm. say. And she is saying, it's not my job to be different so that you can feel better. I'm seeking my freedom in this way. Hmm. Okay, and more so, I was kind of like gearing off into a different direction. If we were standing in your physical shoes, we would offer a vibrational intervention. We would ignore what is if it's a manifestation that's not pleasing. And we would focus upon who she really is. And we would practice the vibration of that until the vibration of who you know her to be is so dominant in your vibration that she cannot show anything other than that to you. A vibrational intervention. Because when you say, you've got to stop this behavior, you've got to stop doing this thing you do, that's like saying to a train that's going 100 miles an hour in one direction, stop, and you'll deserve it when it runs over you. <laughs> right. Okay, can I make the example a little bit more complex, slightly? We're nearly out of time, so don't make it too complex. Okay. So my dad, he has some issues of his own, and I find that I was thinking if I focus on the things that I'm appreciative of him for and this and that, I can improve my experience with him. You can for sure, but you know what? That's really going about it the hard way. As you take these situations that while they're very close up to you and they matter a lot to you, as you take those to be the subjects by which you improve your vibration, you have a hard time doing it because the conditions that surround you keep demanding your attention in a way that makes it harder. So if you can get off the subject of those things that are hard and on the subject of the things that are easier, in other words, it's like we were saying, let's say there are 10 subjects and nine of them are terrible. Well, it sounds like quite a few of them are already happening with your family, with your sister, with your father and so forth. So if you could just take something else that has not got so much momentum going and focus on it for the purpose of being on your path or following your path of lesser resistance, You'll get into vibrational sync and you will receive guidance or inspiration. You will realize the inspiration that's already coming so that you'll be in the right place at the right time. And all of those things will come into alignment. It's a very common thing. Almost everyone takes the issue that is bothering them the most. And that's what they want to start with. And we say, don't begin there. That's the hard way of going about it. Find alignment. You're looking for alignment, not a way to fix your family. You're looking for alignment, not a way to fix relationships. Relationships. You're looking for alignment with who you are and that will take care of everything else. But if you try to fix this, you won't find alignment. You see what we're getting at? Yes. As you focus and make lists, it's sort of like Esther does focus wheels. She really likes starting with where she wants to be and then making statements around the wheel that reflect where she wants to be. And she's getting very good at it. But recently she was talking about something that was more involved and there was more negative emotion around it. And we said to her, Esther, it's like you go into a restaurant and there's this food that you really don't want to eat. You've never liked it. You don't like the texture of it. You don't like the taste of it. You don't like the smell of it. You don't like anything about it. Don't do a focus wheel about it until you like it. Just eat other things. And that's sort of what we're saying to you here. Don't try to fix things that feel broken. Just focus upon things that give you lightheartedness and joy and ease until you make that your vibrational lifestyle. And then watch what happens to every relationship in your life experience. Yes. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. This is a really good day. We've enjoyed this interaction more than words can convey. It is delicious to come together with those like you who come with the fullness of who you are, all exposed vibrationally and ready for us to devour. <laughs> and then you present yourself in your juxtaposition with that. 
and you help us to carve out a path together so that you can get to where you want to be to who you really are to what you deserve be easy about it be playful about it don't work too hard at it start with things that are easy and let the universe show you how aware it is of you there are so many paths to what you want and all of them delicious there is great love here for you and as always we remain in your vortex